Hello, and welcome to another five minutes of teen science. Today, we're gonna to be talking about teen science myths, and this is part two. So feel free to check out part one if you haven't already done so. It's important to talk about teen science myths because we all have these implicit theories about uh, teamwork. We've all been in teams and we have our ideas about what's effective and what's not, but we have to ask ourselves, is it conjecture or is it well-grounded in teen science research? Um, the cumulative findings from research can help us avoid things that sound clever, but they don't really drive team effectiveness. So the first myth uh, is that teams are always the answer. It's easy to get on a team's bandwagon. You know, let's form a committee, let's get people together. But the reality is that some work is better performed by individuals and teams are not a panacea. Um, it's painful to watch tasks that should have been handled by individuals assigned to committees and then get bogged down in a lot of inefficiency, delay, um, suboptimal results. Um, and then people get um, upset and frustrated and then they feel like teams don't work. But teams do work, but they're effective only when they're formed for the right reasons. So what we wanna do is ask regularly, is this an appropriate assignment for the team? And a key element of that is whether the, the task requires interdependence, members working together closely together um, in an interconnected way. Uh, if it doesn't, we have to ask ourselves, can the task be better performed by a qualified individual or by a group of individuals that don't necessarily form a team? Um, if it is the case that teams are necessary and are a good fit for the task requirements, we also have to ask ourselves the question whether we're willing to give the team the resources, the time, the autonomy to be successful. Um, if not, then we shouldn't really be forming a team. And a second myth is that a group of experts makes an expert team. Um, if teams are appropriate for the task, then sometimes there's this mythical assumption that just assembling a group of experts, putting them in a team, it just automatically results in a great team. But the reality is that there is task work and there is teamwork, and these are two separate elements and both are critical for team effectiveness. Task work is what you're doing, teamwork is how you're gonna do it, who's going to do the work and when is it going to get done? And all of those things need to be clearly communicated and coordinated in a team. It is not automatic. And so tips for building teamwork, there's a whole lot of research associated with this, decades of it. So I'm just gonna give you a few tips. Uh, you wanna create opportunities for members to get to know one another. Um, we talk about something called connection before content, that before you dive into the content of your meetings, have some time for people to connect socially. Uh, team building activities are great for building cohesion, trust, safety in a team, and all of those things are directly and positively linked to team performance, the bottom line. You wanna collectively discuss that team's vision, get people together on talking about what is shared in the team, what is your big long-term goal? What are you trying to accomplish? Not just impose that as a leader, but have members actively talk about it to facilitate buy-in. Um, and all of that builds a sense of cohesion in the team around the task. Uh, you wanna develop a shared awareness of who knows what, where is the expertise in that team, um, and making sure that members are aware of who to go to when they have uh, expertise needs inviting all participants to actively get involved, actively be a part of what you're doing, hearing from all team members is really important, and then gathering feedback um, from team members periodically, regularly. How are we doing on our teamwork? How are we doing on our communication? How can we coordinate better? And implementing those, um, what people say. The third and last myth I'll talk about here is that teamwork can overcome a significant lack of talent. Now, I just mentioned how important teamwork is, but competence and capability also matter. The reality is that teamwork, it doesn't compensate for a lack of talent. The team needs that sufficient level of talent and expertise in order to function 
um, effectively. And teamwork and task work are two separate things and both are needed. So it's important to identify what knowledge, skills, and abilities are necessary for team success, and then to select members with that relevant expertise. Don't just settle for who's available, but make sure that you have the relevant expertise and competence in your team. And then revisit that team talent and recognize where there are gaps. And if they are, are you, do you need to select new members or do you need to just gain some temporary access to relevant expertise um, and information? Um, or can you train members to have that relevant area of expertise that's needed? So how can you avoid these team science myths? Um, how can you promote team effectiveness in your teams? Um, thank you so much uh, for your kind attention, and I look forward to our next um, five minutes of team science.